going to try to park my bike on an incline. And get the picture. So I am on Rustic Road 24 and I'm actually very close to another Rustic Road, which you can't really tell because it really is. Oh, there you go. 23. It's there if you see it way over there. 23 and 24 are literally right Rural Road and Emmons Creek. So I'm going to get this picture quick to make sure I, <coughs> sorry, can have proof. So there you go. One, two, three. The photographer in me can't not count. And it's even myself taking the picture. And I know what I'm doing, but apparently I still have to count. Okay. Done. Multiple shots. All right. Let's do the rest of this ride. So it's three miles. And once I get my phone back in my pocket, we can get going. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, break. I love parking on freaking sand and loose gravel. Always makes you a better parker. Parker? Is that a word? I don't even know. Okay. And we're off. This one looks fun. There have been some where there's literally just loose gravel and a crap ton of turns and so I'm going maybe like 10 miles an hour down them because I don't want to fall. But then if I'm going that slow too, it doesn't help either. So it's a lose-lose battle, but still good practice nonetheless. So I love doing these rustic roads. They're one of my favorites just to go out and do. Doesn't cost a lot, just a tank of gas, some good radio stations, and some awesome, awesome country roads in Wisconsin. So my goal this season is to at least get my certificate, which I'm well on my way. I think I've got like five or six roads left to do. And then I submit all 25 of those roads to the Wisconsin Department of Tourism and they send me a certificate. So last year I started this kind of obsession, <laughs> you could say, and completed about 13 of them. So once you do 10, you submit your uh, photos. So the photos that I took this right before we started, submit those photos to the Wisconsin Department of Tourism and they send you a patch. So I got my patch and now I'm working on the certificate and eventually I want to complete all of the rustic roads. So there are over a hundred of them and they're all throughout the state of Wisconsin, which is super cool because I would have never been in rural Wisconsin. Literally, that's the town that I'm in <laughs> near Hartman's. Do Hartman Creek State Park if you've ever been there around this area um, but there's places like this that I really would have no other reason to go to and because they're less trafficked roads it makes it more like enjoyable that way so like cars and bikes and motorcycles can all ride these roads but they're not like high like highway or county roads that you can like see a lot of traffic so it's nice to just get out enjoy the ride and of course capture some of this on the way so I believe we are at the end maybe we're not yet nope we still gotta go straight it's hard to tell but you gotta follow oh shoot Golly, that one's deciding which... Yeah, it thinks I'm in third? Okay, I'm in first. There we go. Jesus, Whitney. <laughs> Second. Done. Third. Kind of. That didn't shift very well. That's weird. Fourth. Question mark. 
I forgot what I was saying. Got distracted by myself. But these would be super cool during the summer once the leaves are all budded and bloomed. I love most of those feel of the rustic roads because it feels like you're going down a tunnel of trees. Or if you're going like way north and you just have all these tall pine trees too, it's super, super cool. And it reminds me of like home because I lived out on these country roads similar to this with cows. Hello! Just hanging out on the side of the road. Manure being hauled. <laughs> Oh, this is so sweet. All right, I'm gonna see, since there really isn't much traffic here, I'm gonna go stop quick and take a picture because I can. I'm trying to muscle my bike. Why don't I just use it like a normal bike? All right. This is, guys, why I can't get a bigger bike. <laughs> just kidding. Oh shit, I got a car coming. One, two, three, go. It's taking its time. Don't mind me. Quick, easy, done. Right. Oh shit. All right, Whitney. Just hang out on the grass here while I put my glove back on. Oh, it's totally taking its time. Sweet Saturday afternoon drive. I love it. Thank you. This is super cool. I bet you'll be even cooler in the summer, like I said. Gotta stop and take that photo off, or else it didn't happen. Gotta do it for the gram. Oh, that was the end of it. Haha. <laughs> All right, worth it. So, I guess that's Rustic Route 24 near Hartman Creek State Park, and I'm probably gonna go there next just because I can, and see where this road takes me. Because honestly, I like the sound of that curvy road right there. Oh shit, that's gravel. Okay. Let's pause and see where I'm at first. Anyways, let's sign off after I get you in neutral. Come on, Whitney. I'm having an off day today. Anybody else? What the hell? Okay. No, it does not want to find neutral. In, nope, now I'm in first. There we go. I guess it didn't want to go down, all the way down. All right, I'm gonna sign off for today. Thank you guys so much for riding this rustic road with me. Clearly it is very rustic. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. If you wanna see any more of the rustic roads that I ride, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm sharing these along with some of my normal moto vlogs, just kind of as a pop-up. And yeah, we'll see you on the road. Bye guys.